Peace. Um, it's water. It's well water. I drink out of a glass because of the fact that um, I'm not trying to get any BPAs or PBAs. In other words, they call it forever chemicals. And see, when you drink any type of substance, whether it's juice, water, inside of a plastic container, right? Or if you put your food inside of a plastic container and that plastic container is exposed to sunlight or any type of heat, if you microwave that plastic, plastic container with your food in it, the forever chemicals can seep inside your food as well as your water. This is the reason why I drink out of a glass bottle. I'm saying that because there's a science to just about any and everything that I do. And the reason why I drink water every time you see me on these videos is to inspire and motivate you. You see, you don't have a problem when they put product placement inside your videos. And seriously, in your video games, in your movies, and TV shows. Your music videos as well. You don't have a problem when they, they put product placement, meaning they put products inside of the movies, video games, and, 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 and music videos, like cell phones, or sneakers, or drinks, liquor, alcohol, things that they want you to buy. You don't have a problem when the nine blacks do it. But the minute I... I'm getting to a point, hear me out. The minute I open this bottle up and drink water, every video I get a complaint. Damn, you drink too much water. Ain't that too much water you drinking? Well, why are you drinking it out of the bottle? And da 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 da, and this and that, and so forth. I understand it, though. I understand. See, black people could do all wrong. But not master, not the white man. I thought at one point in time, Stockholm Syndrome was something that was just illusionary. It didn't exist. But now I see it every day. That you praise and you worship your, your enemy. Your enemy can't do no wrong. But the one that loves you, the one that's trying to give you some information, knowledge. To help you. Be a better you, you condemn. You nail him on the cross. I never was a believer of Jesus Christ. Well, let me take that back when I was young, a younger kid. Forcibly having to go to church. Yes, I believe in a blonde haired blue eyed, white Jesus. But now that I'm older and, and mature and I can read and study, I, I can see that that is not my Messiah. And I try to inform my black people like, listen, I don't truly believe that this man really walked the earth called Jesus, the Christ. You know, his last name is not Christ. Like Jesus, the Christ, a Christos. The anointed one. But if you're going to believe in Jesus the Christ, at least go based on what your King James Version Bible says in Revelation chapter 1, verse 14 through 15, that he had, had hair like lamb's wool, feet like burnt brass, and eyes as flame as fire. And my black people come didn't condemn me for that. I 
I've said this so many times before. I used to go to church with my grandmother and it was a big ass mirror of a white man holding a lamb. No one ever questioned that. No one ever said, you know what, is that the description of Jesus Christ that they speak about in Revelation chapter 1 verse 14 through 15? No, everyone accepted that that was their Messiah. Even though that your Messiah wasn't in the image and likeness of you, but in the image and likeness of your slave master, the one that enslaved you. Let's talk. But I'm the bad guy. I get these comments all the time. So this person asks me, this is like the 15th time that I've gotten this, this comment. But this is recent. This, this person asks me, yo, if you were on YouTube, right? And YouTube wasn't paying you to do videos, would you still do them? And first, the answer was, well, if I was on YouTube and I was reaching people, telling, giving people the knowledge, black people, that is, if I was getting paid for it or not, does it make a difference? You're receiving the information. You're receiving the information. But to answer your question, to be quite honest with you, I've been on YouTube since 2011. This is my second channel. In my first channel, I was monetized for about, I say about two weeks. I never got a check. And that channel's still up. In other words, what I'm trying to explain to you is, I've been, I was making videos for years and wasn't getting paid. It wasn't until as of recent, I started getting paid. From the AdSense program. But this is the problem with black people. See, if a non-black comes out and spit knowledge and they got a podcast and they want you to buy the merchandise, you know what I'm saying? The shirts and 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 uh uh uh, uh become a member of, of their channel and all of that stuff. Black people don't have no problem with that. Black people don't have no problem with throwing them dollars out. But, but the minute that you hear, black people that is, the minute that you hear another black person is kicking that knowledge, you think that he or she is supposed to kick that knowledge for free. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to pay my bills is the question. Straight up. Do you have those time, those same type of expectations that you have for me? Do you have it for that preacher? If you go to church every Sunday and he's passing around the plate, do you say, hey, preacher, Reverend, you're supposed to be preaching God's word for free? No, you don't. It's black people just want a handout. Oh, come on, get it for me. Let me get it for, let me get it at this price, bruh. Why you got that? This is nothing. Why you got that 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 pay that 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 PayPal donation button over there? And this ask all of the other channels that, especially the non-blacks. But I do understand it. I get it. Stockholm syndrome is real, especially when it comes to black folks. It's real shit. How in the fuck black people think that they free? When your mentality has never been free, your brain has never been free. Your brain is still shackles. You're still living on a plantation. That's real talk. And some of you all still live in the slave quarters. Still eat the slave food like chitterlings. Pig feet. Soul food that ain't even good for your soul. I'm starting to realize out of all these years and 50 years of my life, baby, I'm starting to realize there ain't no change in black people. 
that at the end of the day, we are truly doomed and hopeless. We are hopeless type of people. And the only thing that we can rely on in the black race is a God that don't even look like you. It's real shit. It's a politician that don't give a fuck about you. That's real shit. And I hear this all the time in the, in, in, in the comment section of my videos. That's all you do is complain and whine and whine and whine and whine. Well, why are you looking at my channel then? Why are you looking at my videos? Because the reality of it is, is that I am trying to give knowledge to black people to wake them the fuck up. Before it's too late. But see, this is the thing. It is too late. You're too late to the party. And yes, I've helped a few people out, but most people that look at my videos, it's like as if I'm talking on dead ears. It's real shit. Pretty Ricky told me a long time ago, what are you wasting your time with them for? You know where it's gonna go? Nah, man, you know, man, it's black folks, man. We've been through this, you know what I'm saying? We've been through slavery. You know, we've been through Jim Crow, the civil rights movement, the crack epidemic. You know what I'm saying, man? It's, man, we've been through so much, man. There ain't nobody there to help us and da-da-da-da and this and that and so forth. And like I said before, and I say it again, black people are hopeless. You want somebody to die on the cross for you? I'm not going to do that. Martin Luther King got popped in the head for you all niggas. Malcolm X got sprayed, sprayed the fuck up in front of his children and his wife for you niggas. Not me. Can't be me. You praise and worship celebrities. rather have Lil Wayne, celebrities, rappers, singers, entertainers, you know what I'm saying, actors, speak on the behalf of the black race instead of someone such as myself and others. And if you do have an intellectual, excuse me, he turns out to be a motherfucking <laughs> a liability to the black community. You know, like polite. You know, like that motherfucker that was supposed to. Gee, I'm going there. You know, like that motherfucker that was supposed to. Yeah, I'm going there. You know what that motherfucker that was supposed to. Yeah, I'm going there. Dr. Umar. How long does it take you to build a school? Like, no, 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 straight up, straight up. This is my word. No, seriously. I know some of y'all ain't familiar with Charlotte. For real. Y'all you, 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 you don't live here. Or you might have not ever visit Charlotte. Let me tell you this. This is my work. They got a brand new school right off of Johnston Road that they were building, right? No lie. This is my word. It took them probably about two years to build the, build, the, the, the school that they just built. I'm pretty sure next year it'll be open and available. Brand new high school. Right across the street from this, er, excuse me, right across the street from this grocery store, organic grocery store. It's like Whole Food, but it's called Earth Fair. Real shit. Didn't take them 15 years. Shit still ain't open. That's Dr. Umar school. Black people so used to being used to the point where somebody shows them love, they don't want it. They don't want it. They think money is going to get them out of any everything, any and everything. Well, let me let me let me tell you this, black folks. 
since you think money can get you out of everything, ask what it is doing for Puff Daddy. Or some of you all may call him Diddy. The motherfucker put up $50 million and they rejected it. They print the money up. 75% cotton, 25% linen, fiat notes. With dead presidents stamped on it. And two of them presidents, this is, this is a fact. Andrew Jackson, as well as George Washington, owned slaves. You people telling me to invest in stocks. You talking about the same companies and corporations that's fucking people over? But you're so selfish to the point where you don't give a fuck. You don't care about anyone else. All you care about is yourself. Black people deserve to be in a situation that they're in. This is my word. You don't listen to people that have been sent to you. Sent to you. Tailor made. By the angelic, the ancestors, the Anunnaki, and the Teru, there's so many names that they go by. And I'm not saying I'm one of them, but I am saying that I have a message to give to you. Some of you all got that white man's you know what so far up your ass to the point where you don't even want to pay attention to the shit I got to say. Unless I got on a Gucci headband. I saw this rapper dude, I ain't gonna name his name. This motherfucker had a headband that said Celine on it. Don't you understand? For real, this is my word. The ancient ones are looking at you. And some of you all may say, oh shit, <laughs> this motherfucker done. Lulu, he's kooky. I, I told you that Langston was on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He talking about the ancient ones and you know, he and that ancestry worship and all the rest of that shit. You know, the dead people and all the rest of that, man. He ain't never seen them, 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 them comedians, them Anunnaki's, and none of them people that he talking about, but you neither have you seen Allah either. Or Jesus. Or the last prophet Muhammad. Or Jehovah. It's real talk. <laughs> Some of you are all are Jehovah Witnesses. Yes, and I spanked that ass. Every Saturday you come knocking on my door because the first question I'm going to ask you is, hey, listen, um, your name is, well, the, the name y'all go by is Jehovah Witness. I, I just want to know, which one of y'all have uh, ever witnessed seeing Jehovah? And if you have, what does he look like? But that's the problem. You, you don't believe in your ancestors. You don't believe that you were a, you come from any greatness. You believe what that non-black has told you you are. Nothing but a slave. Shadow property, that is. You telling me everything is okay. Ain't nothing wrong. America is the best place to live, live on the planet of the earth. While every fucking thing you got right now is spying on you. You got a smart car that's spying on you. You have a smartphone that's spying on you. You have a smart TV that's spying on you. Big brother, 
That motherfucker ain't no big brother. The beast is always watching. Real shit. See, we walked away from the Nation of Islam teachings. Even Farrakhan did. Matter of fact, he walked away from Elijah Muhammad's teachings. That's what it was. He told you who the fuck the devil was. And he always is and always will be. But you moved into his neighborhoods. You allowed your your kids to play with his kids. You thought that you were going to be accepted in his society just because you worked with him. Just because you sucked his off for some of you all, you gave up that punani. You thought that interracial relationships was going to bring upon about some type of a fucking quality. But know this. That he made it legal so that he can fuck with you, not the other way around. I know who I am. And this is the reason why some of you all just look at my videos in disgust. Straight up. Look at your nappy hair. Why don't you do something with yourself? Why don't you get a job? Why don't you do this and why don't you do that? It, it irks. It irks you, doesn't it? To see me. You hate me so much to the point where you love me. Because in reality, you want to be me. In reality, you know what I'm saying is true. She's crazy. The same man that you don't hold him responsible for shit. But somehow, mysteriously, the cocaine fairy came down and just dropped fucking cocaine into our fucking neighborhoods. Along with the gun fairy, too. He, he, she just dropped guns in the neighborhood, too. It just, that's how I got here. Not because of him. The same motherfucker that you don't blame. for shit it's the same motherfucker that told your ancestors when he enslaved them when they ran away he said that they had a mental problem for real this is this is my life look it up if you don't believe me called drake domania i'm gonna say it again so you can look it up fact check me drake domania Yeah, 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 yeah. Your ancestors, our ancestors had a problem because we went, we went, ran away from the plantation, away from the plantation, away from being forced into labor. It's crazy. Like nowadays, you know, they have child labor laws, you know what I'm saying? People uh, are sitting here, you know, Americans are saying, it's not right that, you know, the, all of these companies and corporations have these child, you know, these children, the Chinese, the Japanese, and Koreans working for 15 cents, are not working at all, you know, excuse me, not working for money at all, but working for free, it's not right. They should have child labor laws over there, just like we have them over here in America. Where if you're under, what is it? If you're 15, you can't work but 15 hours or 20 hours out of the week. Well, guess what? Those si those si same child labor laws, you should have been applied them shits to our kids. Because you damn for sure had our kids out there picking cotton. No matter how old they were. Just as long as they were old enough to pick the cotton. To reach and pick it and put it in the bag. Said this is in the last video. And motherfuckers ain't look him up. George Steiny, 14 years old. 
South Carolina killed him. An innocent young black child. They put him on an electric chair for him to be electrocuted, but he was so small, they had to take him off, remove him, and put stacks of books on top of the chair in order so 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 that he can fit properly and the helmet can go over him so they can electrocute him. They killed that boy. Not to say that all of these men out here that are confused have that trauma that I'm about to say, but most of them do. Like they're confused and they don't even know why, but I could, we could go back in history and see that the Greeks and Romans were pederast and they had, they not only had an affection for little boys, but they also liked men too. And when they came over to the Americas, they practiced that liking men shit, especially during slavery. You know, it's a thing called bucking the slave. Pulling that man's pants down in front of his friends and family as they form, as he forced them to form a circle around him and the black man, the slave master and the black man. They pulled the slave master pulled that black man's pants down and sodomized them right in front of everybody. It's called bucking the slave. Look that up. But master can't do no wrong. And most of you all cannot be saved because you still suffer. No matter what I say, it ain't going to change you. You still suffer from Stockholm Syndrome.